Back in early December, Boeing announced that they would be reducing their 787 Dreamliner production to five jets a month due to the reduction in air travel caused by the lingering pandemic. Well, that may be only half the reason for the slowdown and the delays. Let's just say there may be a few little cracks in their story. That's next on Maximus. So with Boeing, there always seems to be a good news, bad news kind of thing going on. Good news, Boeing's cash cow, the 737 MAX, is back in the air after its two-year grounding following two fatal crashes. The bad news, the 787 Dreamliner. Earlier this year, Boeing announced that they had reduced their 787 production forecast from 14 jets to only six a month by mid-2021. Well, last week, during a virtual Boeing Credit Suisse conference call, Boeing CFO Greg Smith revealed the Dreamliner 2021 production number has narrowed even further from six to five Dreamliners per month. Of course, that really isn't news in the aviation industry today at a time where there are virtually no wide-body aircraft flying passengers from point A to point B anywhere around the world. On the call, Smith said with low recovery for international business travel, the company currently has a large number of undelivered aircraft in its inventory. Smith stressed, this isn't about Boeing's ability to deliver. It has teams and capital in place, but rather their customers' ability to take delivery of the aircraft. So, exactly how many 787 Dreamliners were delivered in November? Exactly zero. Again, you can just chalk that up to the pandemic, right? Well, no. If you follow this channel, you know that there has been a lot of production problems with the 787 in the past. As a matter of fact, one of my most popular videos pointed out that the production problems at Boeing's South Carolina facility got so bad that airlines refused shipments of Dreamliners manufactured there. I'll post a link. In August of this year, Boeing grounded eight Dreamliners for inspection and repair after finding two manufacturing flaws that together could compromise the structural integrity of the aircraft. I really went in depth on my earlier 787 video, but for now I'll give you the abbreviated version. Boeing uses shims that are built to a robot's precise laser-guided specificity to fill any gaps where the 787's two fuselage barrels are joined to ensure that stresses are equally distributed throughout the airframe. However, some of the gaps were improperly shimmed. They also found roughness on the inner skin of the barrel walls. Combined, the two issues meant that the segments might not withstand the required structural loads over time. Boeing's biggest concern was that faulty shim installation might contribute to structural fatigue leading to premature costly repairs or worse. Okay, so that was in August. Now fast forward to September. In September, the Seattle Times disclosed that Boeing had found a new manufacturing quality issue with the Dreamliner. This time with the assembly of the airplane's horizontal tail stabilizer manufactured in the Salt Lake City, Utah facility. The Seattle Times was quick to point out that the disclosure came just a week after revelations of quality control problems at Boeing's South Carolina plant causing the grounding of eight of the 787 jets. So long story short is that these compounding issues of quality control caused Boeing to go back and inspect not only the undelivered jets still at the Boeing factories, but almost 900 jets already in service throughout the world. So now that we're all caught up, that brings us up to date. Like I said in the teaser, publicly Boeing has been blaming the Dreamliner's shrinking production on the pandemic-related aviation slowdown. But now we're starting to find out that wasn't the real reason no Dreamliners were delivered in November. According to the Wall Street Journal, Monday, December 14th, Boeing has expanded its inspections of new Dreamliners after finding a previously disclosed manufacturing defect in sections of the jet where it hadn't been initially detected, this according to industry and government officials. In other words, they seem to be finding little gaps everywhere. 
The journal reports that Boeing and the FAA agree the newly discovered problem doesn't pose an imminent safety hazard, the official said. But the new issue is likely to ramp up a Federal Aviation Administration review of 787 production safeguards sparked earlier this year by other defects. The official said the broader quality control checks covering the entire fuselage of the planes rather than just certain sections around the tail are why inspections are taking longer than previously anticipated. It also explains why no Dreamliners were delivered in November. However, back on December 4th, when Boeing initially announced the additional delays, they gave no reason for the delay. A Boeing spokesman said the defects specifically are areas where the surface of the 787's carbon composite fuselage isn't as smooth as it should be. Such areas can create tiny gaps where fuselage sections are linked together and could lead to premature structural fatigue which can require extensive repairs. The spokesman said the inspections have pinpointed areas where assembly of portions of the 787 fuselage may not meet specified skin flatness tolerances. These newly found defects make the fourth 787 assembly line slow down in four months. The Wall Street Journal points out that this November was the only month since 2013 without a Dreamliner delivery. But lest you think old Maximus is once again participating in Boeing bashing, there is a very positive upside to all of these setbacks. Boeing found this latest problem as a result of strength and quality assurance practices over the past year when other defects had been identified, the Boeing spokesman said. And he said the company has asked suppliers to perform similar checks. These findings are part of Boeing's review of assembled 787 aircraft to ensure each meets our highest quality standards prior to delivery to customers, he said. The FAA released a statement on Sunday saying the agency regularly engages with Boeing on continued operational safety and manufacturing oversight processes to appropriately address any issues that might arise. The Wall Street Journal also pointed out that under pressure from the FAA, Boeing has stepped up internal manufacturing controls focusing on other lapses ranging from inspection paperwork problems to debris mistakenly left behind by assembly line workers inside 737 MAX jetliners and military tankers. I do find it quite puzzling why Boeing waited to be told by the FAA to do what they should have been doing all along when it comes to safety and quality control. But it should be noted that the Dreamliner has been flying since 2011 and has been flying long international routes all over the world without a crash or a fatality. A source familiar with the matter said, If found on planes already carrying passengers, the latest defects can be addressed during comprehensive maintenance checks that are required as the jets age. For their part, though, the FAA, after being embarrassed as a result of the 737 MAX disaster, have been very much involved in overseeing Boeing's quality control on all of their airframes. So what's the moral of the ongoing 787 manufacturing story? Well, that depends on if you're a glass half full or half empty kind of guy. The glass half empty guy will say, see, I told you so. Boeing still doesn't get it. They haven't changed the culture at all. But the glass half full guys are saying, see, finally Boeing gets it. They are paying more attention to quality control and safety and are being more open about internal problems when they arise and are quick to address them. So I guess the real question here is this. What kind of guy or gal are you? Half empty or half full? Let me know down below. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and ring the bell. And as always, remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time in the air. Yeah, this is Maximus.